things are getting out of the money. According to Bank of America, they're expecting seven rate hikes from the Fed this year alone. My personal guess from yesterday was five. Seven and five, 12, take an average six rate hikes we can definitely expect in 2022. The Fed has all but admitted that it's seriously behind the curve. The Bank of America economy said in report, adding that aggressive tightening should affect the economy with a lack, waning on 2023 growth. To be quite honest guys, I don't believe that they will be able to fit 7 rate hikes in a row in 2022. This is why the potential prediction for the lack of growth continuing in 2023 it's possible if they spread this hike within the range of 2022-2023. Let's say we have 5 rate hikes in 2022 and they leave 2 additional rate hikes in 2023. And the fun thing, this is hurting the average person. Look at this crazy uh, title from CNN. Good news, paychecks are going up. Bad news, so is inflation. This is why I made a joke about the JP Morgan CEO who received what? 10% increase on his salary and I made a joke about that he uh, actually he get active uh, rates of about 2-3% uh, because the inflation was at the 7% rate. And obviously people are buying less because things are more expensive because the inflation. This is why all the retail earnings were very very bad. They missed all the expectations which caused a drop of the prices of the retails which will make Jerome Powell to act fast which will crush the economy. It's so predictable, it's so repeatable unbelievable right and definitely you gotta buckle up because the cpi data for january it's coming on february 10th 8 30 a.m you gotta put this on your calendar another sell-off is expected let's talk about crypto according to goldman sachs a huge adoption of particular coins won't make their prices to skyrocket according to them investors should be skeptical of the narrative that rising adoption of cryptocurrencies must translate into higher prices I don't think so. I think that all the institutional investors understand that the crypto is the future. So they keep buying a majority of the coins. They want to buy them on good prices. Uh, we don't believe that individual investors are causing each correction of the crypto market, right? Institutions are because they either going to average down or they want to acquire more coins or they have uh, insider information that potential regulation is coming ahead. So they want to take profits causing acceleration sell-off on the crypto market. So again, the narrative here, it's not true in my opinion. In my opinion, they just want to keep the coins at the lower prices so they can acquire more and more. Not to mention a lot of these big banks, guys, uh, kept talking about Bitcoin. It's a scam, Bitcoin, it's a scam. And when Bitcoin hit 30K, they actually revealed their uh, bank portfolio hedging with uh, Bitcoin. Start buying Bitcoin in 2008, 2009. Uh, what else I can say about this? Meanwhile, after last night fiasco, 24 hours news check on the Google, won't find any news about Robin Hood, performance of the stock, sentiment of the stock, absolutely nothing. But you will find uh, tons of articles about GameStop and AMC. What a surprise. Subscribe to the channel guys, like this video and come back for more.